Hello all, this is Joshua Sagona again, also known as Sagona SO2. As you know, last time we just got to Tucson, and we are now going to continue on our adventures in Earthbound. Exciting stuff. So, the first thing we have to really do is make sure we invest some money in a person called Apple Kid. And I just got hit by a boat van. Wonderful. This is also a good place to get stuff, if we want. I will probably look around here. I don't quite remember exactly what was here. Oh yes, my favorite. As always, gotta get some hamburgers. Ooh, I'm almost full, huh? Ketchup packet. And I ate the ketchup packet instead of using it on something else. That's okay. I think, yeah, the weapon stuff is on the next floor. Here we are. Eh, that's not quite what I wanted, actually. That's okay. Wasted some time, but, you know, gotta look. So I guess our next immediate goal is to give uh, a kid called Apple Kid some money, because he will give us an invention later, which we will use to help save the gal named Paula. receiver phone, yes. The receiver phone allows you to basically receive calls at any time, but you can't send calls. Kind of a weird device, but that is what it is. I guess the next thing I should do is store this broken machine, because I really don't want it to clutter up inventory space. Inventory space is real important at this point. Let's get to do something. Yeah, by this. Copper bracelet. And then there's also that guy on the roof. His name is Everdread. We can fight him. I don't think you have to fight him because I did him one time, but I'm going to fight him anyways because you get experience. What the heck? What do you know? Smash attack. First attack when I started this game, too. Awesome. grab the teddy bear that's in uh, Paula's room at the Polestar Preschool. Because that will help me a little. Yeah, yeah. I just push yes so he stops talking. All 
Alright, so now I got a teddy bear. Awesome. A teddy bear can endure hits, so if I'm battling, I might not take damage because they might aim at the teddy bear sometimes. Paula will also come with one later, too. So, I'm going to go ahead and call Mom, because I need to talk to Tracy. Alright, so now I get to store something when they arrive. They arrive rather quickly, in general. Mushroom time. Alright, so there's gonna be a new enemy coming up. It's Sprout. Oh yes, the cargo Express. Yeah, Espr Express is here. I can't pronounce right now. So we're giving you the broken machine, and that's it. Yes. Bye bye. So that's a mobile Sprout right there, and I'm going to fight it after healing and getting psychokinetic pain points back. So the mobile sprout is not too bad, but it can plant itself in the ground and grow more of itself. That's a bad thing. And just smack down the teddy bear. I love that. Because the teddy bear does not have any magic. But it's pretty hilarious to see. No problem here. I always do that randomly. So now we're inside this cave. Mystery song. Two mobile sprouts. That shouldn't be too bad. Assuming they don't start growing. I could use magic if they start really growing. No, you took some of my magic. Oh my goodness. You should only take two hits. I think. I would think. But I can't hit them. Or I need them. And they keep draining my magic. Bam! Awesome. The first one took forever to hit. The second one, one smash and it was done. Alright, so now we're in this... I forgot what it was called. Peace Rest Valley? That sounds right to me. Peace Rest Valley why they call it that. UFO. So, these UFOs, the only annoying thing is they can cause colds, I believe. But you can heal colds with Heal A. Heal Alpha. Which I should have at this point. If I don't, then I should probably get it soon. Check. Yes, I have Healing A, and that cures common colds according to the description. Ooh, UFO and Sprout. I'm not particularly fond of this part of the game because it's probably one of the bigger areas where you have to do a lot of battles. Unless you try to avoid the battles. But I prefer to fight the battles, so it takes me longer. Whoa! For some weird reason, a pencil-shaped iron statue is blocking your path. Well, that's it. Time to go home. That's why. I, that's what I always thought about this part. Oh well, you're stuck. You can't do anything. Let's go home. <laughs> I think that's pretty funny. Actually, it took me a while to think when I was younger trying to do this. I was wondering, hey, maybe there's some bridge or something I'm not seeing. And I looked around everywhere. I spent about maybe half an hour doing that. But evidently, you were supposed to go back. And eventually I figured that out, you know. Hey, there's nothing to do, let's go back anyways. But I thought it was always funny. It's like, hey, we can't go farther, let's give up our mission. Wow, he just healed him. 
They are just sucking my my magic away. Oh, poor teddy bear. It fluffed up. So now I'm the only viable target. part of the game is going to be just grinding. And I mean, grinding in general is boring, but at some point you have to do it. Most games have some kind of grinding. In Earthbound, this is probably one of the worst parts that you have to grind through. Later on in the game, you know, it's more exciting. You have party members and there are more things you can do. Right now, you're very limited. You have one character to control. So, it's not all that exciting. Yes, a call from the receiver phone. This is Apple Kid. He finished work on Great Invention. He finished work on a Great Invention. This thing is so cool. See you. Wow, look at that enemy bunch. Um, go through the middle. No! I got trapped. So I have no magic, so I can't use life up. Luckily, they don't do too much damage. That copper bracelet really helps. Oh, wonderful. I'm feeling strange. Let's hope that doesn't affect me too much, like last time. I just got to the hospital and that was it. Whoop. So now I got a mushroom on my head, yet again. Go magic butterfly. Walking with the mushroom on my head. People must think I'm weird. To the hospital again, that's what I have to do. Let's hope my controls don't change, but they probably will. I just have the feeling they're about to change, yet they haven't. Oh, there they go. Yep, that's... <laughs> yeah, why don't you try to control Ness now? Yeah, it's not too bad. Unless it changes on me again. Alright, I have to go this way to go left. Got it. I'm pressing down to go left, by the way. So it's kind of funky. Alright, thank you for getting rid of my shroom. Now... I need to go get that invention from Apple Kid. Luckily, it's just on the way over. It's actually in the park. If I went to Apple Kid's house again, there would be his mouse, and he'd say, Hey, Apple Kid's in the park. So instead of wasting time going to his house and then to the park, I just go straight to the park. Maybe I was wrong about the mouse thing. Maybe they just weren't there at all. Yeah, so this is the pencil eraser. The pencil eraser erases... What do you know? Pencil statues. Ha! Huh. So that is the key item to continuing. So basically we just went here to get that. Now we have to go all the way back. Um, my stats... I think I'll be okay. I have hamburgers. Four of them. I think I'll make it. We can only hope, right? Last time I said that what happened. I don't know if I want to fight that. Yeah, I'll just fight stuff when I have to. I already have enough experience. Just have to get through the place. Wow, a 
smash from a mobile strap. You know what's also cool? When an enemy does a lot of damage, and you can finish off the enemy... all the enemies on screen before the battle ends, then your hit points stop rolling. So if I was able to defeat him after he after he just did the 44, I might have been able to only take like 10 or 15 damage. Or whatever. That's just a thing to look for sometimes. So later on, that bridge on the right, that's across the lake, that gets removed. Pencil eraser. For some weird reason, the iron pencil statue was erased. It just kind of disintegrates. It doesn't get erased, it's like disintegrating. Now, um, before I continue, I remember there's one item. I think it's a hat. Yes, the Holmes hat. That's what it was. I need to get that item because the Holmes hat is a is a very good item. And I remember you have to go a way off course to get it. Not here. This is something else. The travel charm. Yeah. Like I, uh, that's a charm I already have for paralysis. I got it last run. Those trees are annoying. I think you can outrun them though. Anyhow. Um, that Holmes hat, I think, is way, way up here? No. That's a dead end. I think it's way, way up here. I know it was up. It was very, very far up. I hope I'm going the right way, because I need the hat. Tree! Tree! I don't like tree. Oh, there's one thing you can do where you can go off screen and come back, and it resets whatever you... whatever was just there. Sometimes more enemies will appear after you do that, though. So I'm going to fight a robot and a UFO. Two metallic objects. As you can see, they get some cool music. I think the special sometimes misses, actually. See? I just... I told you it misses. Anyway, since I hit the UFO, I'll get rid of it first. Now I gotta get rid of the spinning robo. I hate that beat noise. Does it just drive you nuts? I don't like it. Anyways, there's no real way I can possibly die at this point. I mean, I've got life up, I've got hamburgers, I'm pretty secured. Alright, that wasn't too bad. Ah yes, we take the fork here. That I remember the fork to get the Holmes hat. Oh yeah, suffering from a cold. I'm all better. I really could use a butterfly right now, though, because I only have one PP. Holmes hat, Holmes hat, I think? Yes, it's right there. Got it. Oh, hard hat, sorry. Holmes hat is a much better one, I think. But look at that. I get, what, nine defense? That's a lot of defense, you know. That's going to help me a whole bunch. That's all I need to survive the rest of this area. And I might give it to Paula later, who knows. Now we move on. Luckily there were no more enemies to encounter. And I ran away from some, of course. Hey look, coil snakes. Eat. Okay, this is really a waste of time. I'm not gonna really worry about them. Kind of random. Yes, yes, we are in Happy Happy Village. Do doesn't everyone look happy? Look at this. I heard many footprints exist deep down in this cave. Oh wait, no. You're, you're happy. You're fine. I need to find somebody that's unhappy. What is this? This is a shop, right? Yes. Let me get... I'll get... I'll go in the store first. Whatever. What's up, you guys? Yeah, Sandlot Bat. Alright. Sweet. Six more def Six more offense. Seven. Whatever. I'll buy some more stuff. Oh, that was the Holmes hat. It's being sold in here. Switch around 300. Alright, I'm not gonna save yet. I'm about 20 minutes in. So the next thing I have to do is get the Franklin badge from Paula. The Franklin badge is the thing that deflects lightning, and the carpenter guy, I forgot his real name, he uses lightning. He likes lightning. He specializes in lightning. Whatever. He likes lightning. That is the point. Since he's 
you like lightning, he will zap you out of the place that you're trying to get to. So you need to have the Franklin badge to deflect the lightning. Then he'll say, it's so on, or something similar. I don't know exactly what he says. I don't know why the spiteful crows chase you, they just get dying one hit. And apparently you don't get a U1 message either, you have to fight them. Which is surprising. It's a very... Carpenter, that's his name, his name is just Carpenter. Kind of lame if you think about it. I love this song, by the way. It's a very special and meaningful song. Pokey. Happy happyism. <laughs> what a cult. So he leaves me with these things. Wonderful. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take them all out. HP there, that's a good thing. Alright, Pokey, I wish I could chase you, but somehow you run ten times faster than I do. You know, Pokey never actually confronts you face to face, he's always got something that to either break away with or just run. <laughs> he's a scaredy cat, he can't do anything without the help of something else. So, this is the big. What? Really? Get out of my way, I need to get in there. This is the big blue, blue, blue building. That's what I call it, because everybody says blue, blue. Now, there are all these cultists in here, and as you can see, there are little side passages. If they, are f if they have fast-moving feet, they can move out of the way, and you don't have to fight them. There are some that are fast-moving, but if, they're, if there's no place for them to move, you have to fight them. Green, green. Huh. Whatever this is, this is a skip sandwich, but I've got too much stuff already. Yeah, get rid of... Uh, I don't know. Travel charm. Yeah, Paul doesn't need it. But I don't need the skip sandwich really either. It just makes you walk faster a little. See, he had no place to move, so I have to fight him. Do not call for help! Darn you! I say don't do it, and he does it, of course. Boy, GG, huh? These guys are nothing to me now. Wow! You get a classy little tune to go along with the whole cultist theme. Yay, turn back to normal. Alright, so far so good. You can fight the guys that are just walking around, but I'm not gonna. Yay, lag! In the real game, it lags like that too, because there are so many moving objects on screen. Apparently the Nintendo, I mean the SNES, has a hard time making them all work. So here's Carpenter. Before I begin, I'm probably gonna just use a life up. Yeah, now I can't use my special attack, but that's okay. He'll probably just crash and boom bang himself. Oh ho, my Franklin badge deflected it. He gets epic music too. Yes! And then he just hurts himself. But he gets to heal himself too, of course. Nice! Smashes are always nice in boss battles. Come on, hit me. Yeah! See, that wasn't too hard. I told you he'd kill himself. So 
Sorry, Carpenter. Thinking your lightning can hurt me. Thank you for giving me the key. And with that, the happy, happy stuff is over. If you want proof, look at this room. There's like two guys that are just... Three guys that are just stranded. They're like, is it over? Did something happen? What a horrible nightmare. Someone woke up. Nets, let's be friends again. Please answer me. I promise to be good. Uh, okay? Jerk. Hi, lied. See you, sucker. Told you he was a jerk. Big jerk face. So the next thing to do, since I got the key to the cabin, is to free Paula. Not freeing Paula would be the dumb move. A dumb spiteful crow, I do not want to fight you. Get away, stop chasing me, oh my goodness. Why are you all chasing me? I really don't want to fight you guys. Okay, you asked for it. I really don't get why they program these guys to fight you. I'll leave the cookie behind. Almost 30 minutes in now. Hey, Paula. Here's the key. Oh. Key to the cabin. Thank you, Ness. You're just like I imagined you would be. So the next thing we can do, even though she says let's go back to Tucson, the first thing we have to do is actually defeat the Mondo Mole. And that is the second Your Sanctuary location. I think you can skip that too, actually, but I don't think that's a good idea. Now, Paula has a good attack, Freeze. Freeze can do a lot of damage, and she comes with a teddy bear. What else can you ask for, right? defense. Whoops, did I just give her the ribbon? Yeah, I don't have to buy that. Train Paula. Train, train, train. And we start with this Mondo Mole. I mean, not Mondo Mole. Mondo Mole's the boss. The mole playing rough. Oh, wonderful. So Paula's gonna gain levels pretty fast. Won't be too bad. See? Already gaining levels, although offense is not a good stat to really gain a lot in, so... Not the greatest stat updates for Paula, but that's okay. Some more of these. 41. Nice, Paula. I won't be using any of your special 
special text just yet. Sweet. So I think I have to go down here next. Paul's just getting levels. Hey, look, big teddy bear. Just kidding, it's not a teddy bear, it's a big bear. The mighty bear. This I will use freeze on. It's got a lot of health. And it hurts a little. Actually, I believe that uh, Paula has more defense than Ness. But let's check that. 35, 34, yeah, Paul already has more defense than Ness. Of course, she gets nice starting armor, so that's very good. Life, 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 let me see. Um, yes, need to heal myself, I think. And I get this, kill psychic connect points, and then we fight the bear. Selected what I didn't want to deselect. Freeze is powerful, isn't it? And it only costs three for the basic one. The stronger ones cost more, but they're so worth it. Some enemies are not good against freeze, though. You'll see those occasionally. Fire is better for some. I solidified the bear. Level 17 for Ness. Level 9 for Paula. Working out very well. Now, when you have more party members, the thing is, all your experience points are now getting distributed. There's proof of this because if one of your party members dies, your party gets more experience, but there's less party members to give it through. So you kind of get what it, how that works. More party members, less experience, but it's distributed among all of them. So technically you're still getting the same amount of experience. Okay, now we just have to defeat the bear. As you can see, with two, pu two party members, it gets more exciting already. I mean, not like super crazy exciting, but it's more exciting than just Ness, Bash, Bash, Life Up, Special, Bash. Ooh, I went on the side. That could have been a bad attack for me, but it looked like it came out okay. Paul's fire is very useful. Why they would size up situations and make themselves feel strange. I just don't get that really either. I think they are then able to concentrate, but by that point, they're feeling strange, so that makes no sense at all. Ow. More fire. Dead. Paula got Freeze B, see? Already a stronger Freeze. Sweet. Alright, here we are. The second Senior Sanctuary location. Mondo Mole. To do this, you need to use Paralysis, because then he'll be paralyzed. I mean, what else is there, right? 
Now, he's not very effective with freeze, I don't think. I can try it just to make sure. Yeah, freeze is not very good for him. So we're gonna paralyze him. That'll help. So now he'll rarely attack. The next thing I'm going to do is just do damage. I think I'll use fire. Fire's more effective. Ooh, psychic shield. That's gonna have that. Oh, make it disappear, right. Duh. Okay. Um... At this point I'll just bash, because I'm out of PP. Paula... is out too, so... What will Paula do? Bash. What the heck? That doesn't help at all. So this is gonna be a bashing party. Paula's gonna defend, I guess, so she can do one damage. That kind of sucks. I really wish I had more PP, but at this point I don't. So while the Mondomal's just paralyzed, I'll just keep doing damage to it. See, now he gets to use something. And he chose to use a psychic shield, so that doesn't help him very much. Why are you doing that, dude? I'm just bashing you. Yeah, I wouldn't have been able to use psychic attacks anyways. Ooh, offense goes up. You better die soon or I'm dead. <laughs> wow, really? Oh, wow. Life up. That's not gonna help at all. Okay, this is getting lame. Just die already. Thank you! But this boss is easy because you can just paralyze him to death. Wow, 21, 14, wow. Those were nice numbers for gaining. So that's the second location done. Paul's already level 12. Ness is level 17 now. Or 18, I forget. And we're getting close to the 40 minute mark, not quite there yet. So I think I'll be able to make it back to Tucson. And we can take care of getting to Threed. One town at a time, right? That totally works. So everything's afraid of us now, I hope. Run, bear, run. Um, I can't avoid the fight. Wonderful. Should I fight? Yeah, I have... I've been healed, so... What the heck, let's fight. Dead. Except for the bear, of course. The mighty bear. Oh right, we got surprised, so they didn't get to use anything that turn. So this adventure is coming along very well. No deaths this video, for sure. Once you have two party members, you're a little more controlled in what you can do. And later on we'll get a bunch of secret herbs. I abuse secret herbs, because they're cheap, and they can also revive. Most of the time. Sometimes they don't work, that's a bad thing. But secret herbs, they revive for... And they each cost only $300, compared to a couple of life noodles. Those things are ridiculous in price. Why did I push that? Sometimes I just randomly end up pushing L. Okay. So here we are again. And everything's all happy happy. If I wanted to, I could go ahead and rest real quick. There's a guy with a cow. See? If you talked to him when he was not happy happy, he'd charge you to sleep at his house. Please forgive my lecture earlier. Well, he never gave me the lecture, because I never actually came here. And he makes a joke. Blue sheets! Haha, <laughs> just kidding. Not funny, dude. I've had enough blue for one day. Whoops. Gosh, 
much I got to stop doing that. Alright, Paula, let's get you back to two What the? Okay. She just apologized to me. I've never seen that before. First time I've seen that. I must have never went down that path. Apparently she did something wrong earlier, I guess. So she's apologizing. Too bad I didn't know. Wow! Look at that combination. Tree, tree, mobile sprout. Holy, holy. Wow. Back in the cave, back in the cave, back in the cave. I am not going to deal with the trees. Thank you. Oh. Yeah, I can deal with those guys, and I gotta run past real quick. Alright. Mm, yes. Freeze B. Yes. <laughs> Sweet. I should have used my special then. Didn't even work. Look at that. Wow. This is nothing to us. Ha. Huh. Level 14 for Paula. Run, 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 run. Woo! They didn't get us. Yeah, I'll be okay without the butterfly. So, there will be a bridge constructed, which is a super big shortcut for us. I'll just attack this and probably do the same thing again. This is what makes Paula so great. She can use some of the really strong psychic abilities. Ness? I prefer him for his party heal he later gets. He gets a party heal. There's another member in your party you get later that can heal, which becomes very handy. But, he cannot party heal, so Ness is best for party healing. Paula is good for direct damage with magic. Later there will be another party member. He's, he can get stats of enemies and just attack. But he can wield really powerful bombs and bottle rockets. Those are real good. And then your last party member, he's kind of the middle. He can do magic attacks, he can do healing. This is kind of the middle character. I personally like Paula the best. Paula's the most useful character, I think. Fire works real good on these guys. Because they're sprouts. What else would they expect? Smash attack. Ha, the seed didn't sprout. Like I said, they should plant seeds in the ground of themselves and try to grow more of themselves. So, with two people in your party, this becomes so much easier. Especially with a really strong magic user. Sweet. I get a butterfly. So, the next part of the game, we don't have to do any real fighting. Um, remember that Everdread guy? We have to go get money from him. What kind of money? Well, it's money we can't use personally, but it's money we can use to get to the next town, and you'll see why. Again, I assume most of the viewers have played this game before, so nothing should come as a surprise, but I tried to make it a surprise. I don't think you have to stop by and see her father or anything, because she'll say, Oh, I have to go on an adventure, yada yada yada. But I don't think you have to do that, that's not a trigger. I don't think. Anyways, Everdread is in here. Oh. Of course. Wow. So, I do have to take her to her parents. Everdread says so because apparently he cares so much for her and her parents knowing that she's home. Well, I guess I guess I was being a little selfish there. We have to let her see her parents. <laughs> Yay! Preschool. And, oh, Paula! Thank you so much. You must be the boy who saved the world like Paula's dream. Big help to Ness. See, that's another hint. We'll meet another friend. Goodbye, Paula. I won't cry anymore. If you talk to him again, he'll be like, sniffle, sniffle. Bye, Paula. 
Onward to victory, whoa! Hello, Ness, Everdra is looking for you. No, duh, we just talked to him like two minutes ago. Oh, oh. He's the crazy man. Annoying old party man. What an annoying old party man. Bye. Great, there's one of those hippies. Great, now I have to fight the hippie. I mean, seriously, it's not that hard. $10,000. That's a lot of bills. And he says he's trying to track down the Manny Manny statue, which was the thing behind Carpenter, if you didn't notice. He had a Manny Manny statue, and Carpenter explained the Manny Manny statue was making him go crazy. So, Everdread is hunting it out. He says it has mysterious powers that lyrics exaggerate found, too. Am I at the wrong place? Yeah, I am. The next place we have to go to is the... Ah, uh, dang you people. To the theater. And the reason why we have to go to the Topola Theater, I think it was? The Topola Theater is because we have to actually get these guys to be our ride to three. He called me a playboy. Because apparently he has a thing for Paul. Picture time! Pictures taken instantaneously, I'm a photograph genius, if I do say so myself, okay, get ready for Aunt Mary, look at the camera, say, fuzzy pickles! Oh, Chaos Theater, Topola, I think, is the one in Foresight. I get my names confused. So we show her the backstage pass, which Ness does not have, why do I have a cookie? Eat it. Here we go, hurry, you're just in time to see the Runway 5 show. So these guys are gonna hitch a ride to 3, because we can't do it normally by bus. Because if we were to do it normally by bus, then we'd be scared off by ghosts. The bus driver would be. So she says, hey, I was told I could go backstage, but I have a pass. Really? You'll let me go with you? Okay, let's go. So then we're like, hey, what's up, dudes? Shout out to Wap Dilly Dee Da. Shabba Dee Dee Bapwa. I got those dead blues. If I had $10,000, I could pay out my debts and move on to the next town. I wonder if our bus still runs. It may be rusted out. Hey, who's got $10,000? Hint, hint. Ooh, we get to watch the show. Tonight, you've got the Chaos Theater Soul Man coming at you. Rock and rolling live on this here stage. For a limited time only, the world's greatest blues been the runway five. And here they come. <laughs> That's the show. Don't they rock? They are the best blues players I've seen in Earthbound. Oh, pardon me. Thank you. So now there's this manager guy. His name is Poochie Fun, as I figured out. 
later on. I'm going to show him the wad of bills. You surprised me, now I'm not sure what to do. I got the money, and I'll run away, run away five or free to leave. I've got no complaints now that I have my money. Well, what do you know? This little nipper took us from a nightmare to a dream. Ow! This means we can get out of this dump. I'm a good driver, come on, I'll show you. Alright, let's move on to the next town. I'm sure our old hunk of junk will get us there. I didn't make a spectacle of myself, did I? That sax player is quiet. I am quite fond of the sax player. Let's go to the reed. Yes, we want to ride. Oh yeah, let's go. Get on the bus. Hey, sidewalk, get out of my way. Dog. Enjoy it. This is the only time you hear the song in the game. I forget what that present was you just saw in the corner. You have to walk a long way to get it. So see those ghosts? If we were to go through it normally, they would scare the bus driver and he'd turn around. So this is the only way you can get to three, of course. place look a little dark to you? Looks like we have to say goodbye for now. This town seems very gloomy, but I'm sure you can light up the place with their own little brand of sunshine. Jerk. Just kidding. They are cool. We don't want to call them jerks right now. They're gonna help us later. Um, so while we're here, I think the first thing we have to do is kind of upgrade, if we can. I wonder what this store has. I'm pretty sure it has something decent in here. Let's see, minor league bat? Thick fry pan? Better weapons, basically. I guess I'll get those. That's going to help. How much does the... Alright. Oh, I'm six dollars short. What is that? If I sold it first, I would have been able to afford it, but I'll just withdraw more money. One thousand. Here we go. No, thank you. Um, no, thanks. I hate it when I select the wrong thing, have to go through all the menus again. Yes. That'll be all. Okay. Um, the final thing I'm gonna do is set us up for next round. We're going to get through the part where we meet our third party member. Now, we don't specifically meet him, we're just going to get to know him. And that's where I will stop for now, because I tried to make these an hour long, so... This is a graveyard, by the way. And it's got some scary enemies. Like those. See them? Those are scary. Yeah, the ghosts have a high amount of defense, apparently, so you have to use magic to really kill them off. Or you can do lots and lots of bash attacks, but that's too repetitive to be worth it. So, uh, there's a little fly there. Oh, man. Yeah, that's a bad thing. First time I got a bad encounter. Surprise attack encounter. But these are easy, so that shouldn't be too bad. So, these zombies are gonna notice us. He stares into your soul. He looks you over. So that's kinda scary, right? But, that isn't the scary part. And the song's very mysterious and gloomy. Then this guy, you can talk to him, he says, Take a look at that chick in front of the hotel. Regardless of some of the people I've seen her hanging out with, I think I'd like to spend some time with her. 
creepy dude, creepy. So we gotta follow this hot chick, apparently, into the hotel. As you can see, very weird music. And then we get owned by zombies. Game over. Just kidding. You're losing consciousness. What could be the fate of Ness and his friend? So, we're in this room, and there's a door. I think we should check out the door. The door's locked. This is getting suspenseful, isn't it? I'm calling out to you who I've never met. I'm calling out a friend who we've never met. Jeff! Jeff! We need your help! I'm Paul and I'm with another friend Ness. We are trying to contact you. Winters, a small country to the north. Sounds peaceful, doesn't it? This is why I love Earthbound. The storyline is so amazing. It's so intriguing. Snowwood Boarding House. The game is so dynamic. I don't think it would appeal to many people, but I love it. I'm Paula, and I'm with another friend, Ness. We tried to contact you. If you hear me, please wake up and head south. Only you, the far away, can save us, Jeff. Please hear my call and begin heading south. Jeff, you are a friend we've never met, but you are our one and only hope. So now it's time to wake up, Jeff. No problem here. Tony, our friend. Jeff, where are you going in the middle of the night? He's going to join me. You know the dorm walls. If you get caught, we'll be punished big time. All right. There must be some reason that I don't understand. I won't stop you, but it's dangerous to leave without taking anything long. I think there's some stuff in the locker room you should get. Tony joined you. So here we are. This is Jeff. Nothing too special, I suppose. This is a room full of cookies. It's for, uh, Tony's birthday party, I think. If I recall correctly. Uh. Oh, Jeff and Tony, you start me. Are you looking for a late night snack? I'm having trouble with my project. And he talks about a doctor and donuts, which is Jeff's father. Here's a key to look in the lockers. So he says, you can call me anytime to save your adventure. So we're gonna try this key. Apparently it can open lockers. The key's bend doesn't fit in the keyhole. Man, I'm going to go punch the daylights out of this guy, Maxwell. He won't give me it. something. Didn't work, did it? I thought that would be the case, so I just admit, the machine that opens doors, especially when you have a slightly bad key. Of course, he gave it a really long name, but it's really just a bad key machine. You should be able to repair small tools to make them useful. See? Jeff has an IQ status, and it gets really high. And depending on how high his IQ gets, he can repair more stuff. So I'm trying to figure out where which lockers have stuff in it I can get. Oh, come on. There's gotta be something in one of these. I remember there being... There's a Holmes hat. Got it. And I remember there's a weapon of some sort, I think. That's all I can get from here, I think. If I can find it. Pop gun. Got it. That's all I'll need. So the next thing we do is head outside. And then Tony's like, Okay, use me as a step and climb over the gate. I'll say goodbye for now. I don't know where you're going, but remember, we are best friends forever. So this is where I'm going to end for now, because... This is where the next big part of the adventure begins. Alright guys, that's all for now. I'll see you next time when we continue this adventure.